Assalamualaikum. This is your computer science teacher, Sir Fawad Afdal Ansari. I've prepared a practice paper, or you can call it a guest paper, for the pre-release material for the month of October number, and the code is twenty-two one zero and zero four seven eight variant twenty two. Visitor car parking. So I will uh, first I explain you the expected questions as I have made it for the scenario. So let's discuss the questions. So first question is about the uh, variable constant or the identifiers that you have used in your program. And keep in mind that it does not matter that uh, you follow the solution of which teacher. For example, if there is a teacher A, you are following him or if there is a teacher B, you are following him if there is a teacher C, you are following his code or if you are following my code. So it doesn't matter that which teacher's code you are following, it depends the depends upon the understanding with the scenario and how do you deal that scenario using your pseudo code so only thing depends upon this criteria so if you are well aware of your pseudo code if you are very well aware of your um, uh, algorithm so this is how it works uh, so it's about the constant identifiers or the variables you may use in the questions uh, in the pseudo code so let me zoom it for you so you have to first of all explain tell the array name then explain the data type and then use of it that why do you use this array same with the array number two its data type and its use next describe any one validation check that could be used in task one so whatever the validation check you used in task one you may de describe it here next part c is write an algorithm for the part a part of task 2 that generates and allocates a unique booking number to each of our booking of a visitor so you how did you do it how did you generate a booking number you may use to you may use your pseudo code or you may use high level language programming statements next is the question i have given the spaces for you so you can easily solve your question Part D is write an algorithm for the part of task 2 that calculates accessible car parking and you can use your pseudo code of programming statements to justify your answer. In the same way next question is write an algorithm for the part of task 2 that calculates general car parking and same procedure that you may use your uh, pseudo code or the programming statement so you may basically write the algorithm using the pseudo code okay so next is uh, question number two write on the test data for accessible and general car parking so type the test data for the accessible parking type test data one and then give the output and then type the accessible parking test data number two and then show the expected output that what do you think same with the general parking test data same with the general car parking test data so you may input test data 1 and give the output as well and general parking test data 2 for the testing purpose along with the output next question number 3 is write an algorithm for the part of task 2 using case statement so you must know how to write the case statement in order to solve this question you may use your pseudo code or the programming statement. Before solving this question, you must have properly prepared yourself uh, with the solution of the pseudo code or the high level language code. So, you may solve these questions easily. I, uh, I recommend you to first study your pseudo code solution when you think that now you are ready to solve it then close your register and then try to solve the question but do not do like your register is open and then you are solving and taking the reference from your solution it is not a good practice 
Next question number four is explain how your program calculates accessible and general parking spaces. Means in the words, in the text, you may explain. Next, write an algorithm to calculate number of accessible spaces used on any of the 14 days. It is related with the task three. It says that use either pseudo code programming statements that you have used and fully explain the purpose of each statement. So uh, uh, write the pseudo code and explain it or write the programming statement and then also explain it. So it's up to you. Same with the next question. Write an algorithm of general spaces used on any of the 14. It is also related with the task three. Uh, and uh, I'm just stopping right here now because I want you to start practicing your questions. I have given the link of the practice or you may call it a guess paper in the description. So you may click on it and download your uh, questions and solve it. Best of luck for exam. Thank you so much. Allah Peace.